Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 97, verse 28. And I will bless her with blessings and multiply a multiplicity of blessings upon her and upon her generations forever and ever, saith the Lord your God. Amen. Okay. So, blessings come from righteousness. And righteousness is a choice very simple choice, and I mean, we're not perfect. The only perfect person is Jesus Christ, and of course, Heavenly Father. But even trying to be righteous, we can be imperfect, but guess what? It will not screw us up. It will not stop us from being able to be righteous the next time. We have the atonement of Jesus Christ. We have the atonement of Jesus Christ that that allows us to look beyond our imperfections and focus on helping others learn and grow and come unto Christ as they are and learn to be perfect eventually. Because it's a lifelong process learning to be perfect. I mean, perfection does not come without the refiner's fire of trials. And the refiner's fire is necessary for each of us. Even Jesus Christ went through the refiner's fire. He was tempted and tried, but he came through it. He did not succumb. I mean, he was stronger for it. As will we be. And I mean... Unfortunately, sometimes we do succumb to trials and get frustrated, but there's really no need to be because each trial will make us stronger, even if we think we can't get through it. Christ went through all things, so he gets it. So here's a suggestion. Whenever you feel overwhelmed by life, Overwhelmed by the world, by trials, by pain, by sorrow, by suffering, by all of that. Get on your knees. And pray to God the Eternal Father. In the name of Jesus Christ for help and love and strength. That you might be able to see the trials you receive with a positive attitude. And that you might be able to understand that you will come up a better person for every trial and blessing you get. And that is being righteous, trying your darndest to get through life, to seek the help of Heavenly Father, even though life may be really, really hard. You understand that life cannot be dealt with by yourself, so you ask for help. That's also called humility. Asking for help when you, when you know you're overwhelmed and not trying to battle on it. By yourself, because we are never alone. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ are always there for us, but they don't do anything because we may not ask for it. Unless we ask for the blessings of God. They cannot help us. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ cannot help us because that would be interfering in our agency. If we ask for the ability to be righteous and follow through, our agency will remain free and we will receive blessings. And if we cherish the blessings we have, Heavenly Father will see fit to give us more blessings eventually. And if we take care of the blessings through our time and into eternity, if we get those blessings sealed to us, the ones that matter, like our families, those blessings will carry through generations because then other generations will want eternal blessings in their lives too, hopefully. I mean, it's not a guarantee, but having that example 
will show them how much happiness can be had and hopefully they'll choose, future generations will choose to seek after that which matters and embrace the blessings as they're offered. I mean, we all have our choice. The atonement itself is a blessing. It allows us to look beyond our imperfections to what can be, to what we can be and what we can do. But it's everyone's choice whether or not they want to look upon it, but it's there. It was given to us out of love and it will, and it's there waiting for us. But we need to choose. And I mean, that's God's promise to us. If we come unto Him seeking to be righteous, He will help us be righteous, and if we maintain our righteousness, we shall be blessed. Think about that. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.